to increase support for rural and agricultural infrastructure, especially in sub-Saharan Africa, with a relate priority to as a rate disbursal of the Millennium Challenge Corporation funds already obligated for rural roads and other agricultural infrastructure projects. Uh -huh, uh -huh, we know. We know. Yeah. Okay. Hey, gee. Delegation. If you will, I mean, in the Gates Foundation. Yes. On Vagana. Oh. President Mills. Everything mm -hmm. cover na graphic. Okay. A sunrise at the end in Already, we've already come back. We've already, 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 and the two are now one of the president of our home. study program with Jimmy Carter, Bush, Obama, and the Cossa. And today we have a quad mountain. Yes. Yes, what I'm paying. I'm paying some penny for the Sraya near the Aja to try and pier. Oh, I'm looking for the issue to move with the buyer. Make I clean the bag and a full fro. <laughs> President receives delegation from Bill and Melinda Foundation. Daily graphic, 24th October 2009. President John Evans Atanos has lauded the positive impact the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation has made on the lives of Ghanaians, particularly in the fields of sanitation and agriculture. Welcoming a delegation from the foundation to the castle in Accra yesterday, the president said, and I quote, We commend the impact you have made on many lives and homes in the country, unquote. President Will said the visit was timely as the country was preparing to present next year's budget to parliament, saying, and I quote, This is the time we are considering all possibilities to, imp to input into the budget, unquote. The, uh, he pledged Ghana's commitment to cooperate with the foundation in the fields of agriculture, education, and health, saying that the results of the cooperation is the yardstick by which we will be judged. And she will see fertilizer factory, irrigation, dams in the south of the country, and the Cabinet approves GM Foods Bill. Your true story, dear friend, a call is Sabra Mensa, Business and Financial Times, 22nd March 2010. A biosafety bill that will allow the full commercialization of biotechnology and the deployment of genetically modified, that is, GM products in the country, has been approved by cabinet. Business and Financial Times has been told. The bill is expected to be presented to Parliament by close of the year, and when passed, will authorize the use and the consumption of GM foods in the country's uh, consuming market. Mm -hmm. Okay, this will be the second GM foods-related bill that, that Parliament will pass after earlier passing the legislative instrument on biosafety. LI 1887, which along with other existing legislation can be used to start field trials of GM crops in the country's agricultural sector. 
Dr. Alasa Yakubu, the member of the Parliamentary Select Committee on Environment, Science and Technology, who disclosed this to be an FT, explained that the passage will have enormous implications for the country's uh, future by biotech crop production in the agricultural sector. This is expected to increase productivity and uh, argument the income of farmers while promoting the protection of biodiversity and the environment while mitigating climate change and other socio-economic issues. <laughs> Parliament. And so, 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 also, I grow, yes, and we won't see it. I'm a Dana Rashi 2010. No, it's a can they find you? Who's a debia? I'm a full pussy beano. I don't want to be touchy. You're trying to sell my interest. I'm a self, I'm a self, I'm a self, I'm a self, I'm 2012, and I'm making a state department. Hello, Obama, a salmon. So, state department, a mm -hmm. rather investment, a oh, Ghana food security, mm -hmm. your trust seeker, 225 million dollars. 225. So, in terms of our gift to Africa, yes. yeah. 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 Daily Graphic, Friday, October 26, 2012. U.S. invests 225 million dollars in Ghana's food security. Mm -hmm. The United States government will invest $225 million in food security programs in Ghana in the next five years. The U.S. Assistant Secretary of State in charge of business and economics, Mr. Jules Fernando, has announced. The funds will come through the U.S. government's Global Hunger and Food Security Initiative, Feed the Future. Udo hold on down in council. Jimmy Carter, former over here, I'm going to London. Yeah, when you say feed the future. <laughs> the program seeks to invest in rice, maize, and soya for the savannah belt and marine fisheries along the coastline of West uh, Western region. That, according to Mr. Fernando, would increase the production of genetically modified foods, GMOs, which would support Ghana's food supply situation. He allayed fears that GMOs could pose a threat to human health, saying that no scientific study had been able to prove that. Hmm. To prove that yet. According to him, most of the misconceptions about GMOs were the results of widespread misinformation and indicated that part of the initiative was to mount a vigorous advocacy on why GMOs should be encouraged. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. After you have been American government, I know I'm very investment. Ubu, I want to say, wow, wow, the VV of a GM of Yano, your money, they save, sir. And he, when you have Brian, just prove the end of us, sir. Can't I learn? And our parliament, it's our education, bar safety view. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. Anyway, yeah. we have a set up. Mm -hmm. So, we have a set up. Bar safety and never. Now, we have to move for us here. We have GM and never. Now, we are selecting, you know, of protein. I was selecting rice, potato, cotton. Any the other boss of women, Anna. So, I'm in Akaho. Yeah, I know. We did not come. Are you know? Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. 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 I'm
Biosafety Committee to Research Genetic Foods. Mm -hmm. Daily Graphic, Saturday, September 1, mm -hmm. 2012. Mm -hmm. The National Biosafety Committee, NBC, has received three applications for research and field trials of genetically modified crops in Ghana. The GM is a special set of technologies that alter the genetic makeup of uh, organisms such as animals, plants, or bacteria. While the NBC has received one application seeking the permit to research into a particular variety of copy, two other applicants are seeking the NBC's consent for four trials of sweet potato. The chairman of the committee, Professor E. C. Kui, disclosed this to the Daily Graphic on the fringes of a workshop to develop Ghana's national communication strategy on biosafety. Professor Kui pledged that the NBC would be transparent in its work to ensure public confidence in biotechnology and biosafety, both of which have health and environmental protection implications. He said the NBC now understood proactive communication and would build an image that would ensure that its decisions would not become subject to court actions. Wow. And you, who go through that? Full trust no more. Any na ya 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 ya. Ghana approves first crops to undergo GMO confirmed oh, the trials. No no. Ghana pilot planting of genetically modified cow pieces. Mm -hmm. Ghana develops GM cow pea. Mm -hmm. CSIR harvest fourth batch of genetically modified rice. Eh now we are no more. No more. Yes, no more. Okay. Mm -hmm. Trial of new cotton variety positive in three northern regions, mm -hmm. but no commercialization yet. Mm -hmm. mm. Sorry, that is S E R I. Mm -hmm. Conduct test trials on GMO cotton varieties. Two GMO varieties of rice can be developed in Yangala. If I not see. And the the changing force of Ghana food. Production. <laughs> Oh. I come Brazil, I want to eat the year before. World food, I eat my own kind. The time we take, own kind. Who knows own kind? Can I get to a beer? Who can get to a beer? Yes, I be a beer. You have a market. Yes, I can see a boy. Ghanaian Times are by Friday, June twenty fourth, twenty eleven. Headline here: Kofor justifies award. Mr. Kofo and Luis uh, Inacio Lula da Silva of Brazil won $250 million world food prize for cutting hunger in half while serving as president of their nations. The prize organizers announced on Tuesday. Makaka Kran and Yesi. Empty and also why? If you want to know, 2013, and Parliament. As I do, the front plant breeders right there. Yes. So, Ghana scientists for want to do your research. Now, I will be. There's a commercial in the world. And as a whole world, on the phone, we need also a new one. We need to be very, 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 now, sir, we have a new one. That is a threatened right. So, we will use you. We will use you. We will use you. We will use you. Little did. We will use you. 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 International Seed Conference. We will use you. We will use you. We will use you. 
Oh, never. No, no more. I mean, you don't know Santa's war. Oh, Emma, and Emma, and I am told Sadia one, sir. If you have the moon, I was of what? Nama, and Rabba, and one of my international communities. Mosumba, no sooner leave. It is you soon. Oh, for something. You said, yeah, more occupation, you must say, a costume. And a chitty, 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 demonstrations go so far. Yes. Kokuka, food sovereignty. When we are demonstrating, and you are money, you are eight. But twenty twenty, and I'm with you too. Parliament, I'm not you. But I'm not. I speak on here, Marco. I am not you. I'm not you. Twenty twenty, yeah. Upon my class is sixteen. Okay, young kind. Parliament passes air navigation, mm. plant variety protection bills. Yes. yes. Bill graphic, 5th November 2020. Protecting rights of plant breeders. Mm -hmm. The plant variety protection bill, on the other hand, will establish a legal framework to protect the right of breeders of new varieties of plants or plants groupings and promote the breeding of new varieties of plants in the country. It also seeks to acknowledge the achievement of breeders of new varieties by making available to them exclusive rights on the basis of a set of uniform and clearly defined principles. This it is hoped will promote the growth of the seed industry and safeguard the lawful rights and interest of plant breeders. The bill will furthermore regulate the production, sale, marketing, and advertisement of new varieties. Under this system, persons who develop new distinct uniform and stable varieties of plants will be entitled to apply for the grant of an exclusive right to that variety. The report said. Good day, you Walking can be a year. Yes, I break. Tell me, one. Why, You didn't so. Who have ya? Kutia, who win your coin? Who is any idea too? Now, Sana, no, no, everyone. Now, you as aid. On your decamp or child, you are sick room, and you have a war as well as a way I got to, sir. Indeed. Programs will be US aid. Okay. Now, I could be. Ah, only do one. A divide. And I'll make a house and do one to find here. Do point, and I just say, serious candidate, not part to know. Oh, no. I don't know, Monsanto. What will you call? Gene. Have you said Gene? Ah. What will you create? Contraceptive corn. What will you do? Enough of the minister, what you know? So on her side, I didn't know. What do you cut a river graphic? Okay. That's all kind. Daily graphic, Tuesday, February 14th, 2017. Mm -hmm. That's on my favorite paper. Mm -hmm. We will, I didn't see soon. Mm -hmm. We will reduce food imports mm -hmm. with planting for food and jobs campaign. A free Akutu. Kanko. Kanzo, what look at Crado? And Hanini here. I was a little bit. Yeah. I said the government will by April this year launch an audacious campaign to turn farmlands and backyards into a huge food basket that is expected to cut down the country's food import bill drastically. Modeled on the highly successful operation Feed Yourself. 
program of the 1970s. I've won. Of course, you will be sir. Very good. Last week. Last week, you know. Mm -hmm. Answer me. Was it modeled on the highly successful operation Feed Yourself program on the 